All right, friends. So today we learned that an island is a piece of land surrounded by water. And we learned that a lake is a body of water that's surrounded by land. So for our activity today, we are going to make our own land and water forms of an island and a lake. So you need two paper plates. Okay, these paper plates are, um, they're not shiny, so they'll soak in our color a little bit more. Um, you're going to need a black crayon. You're going to need your watercolors, namely um, blue and green. And with that, you're gonna need a little water and your paintbrush, all right? So the first thing that I'm going to draw is my island. Okay, so I'm going to make a little, a little shape in the center. An island isn't going to be a perfect circle. So we're going to kind of make the edges a little, a little wobbly. All right. And the crayon is going to help separate our island from our land. And I think that what I'm going to do is I'm going to do both of my drawings first. They could actually look exactly the same. That's probably not how that would work in nature, but they could look exactly the same. So you can draw a similar kind of shape. So that's going to be our island. And then I'm going to make this one a little bit different shape, kind of like a, a bean or a potato. Okay, that's going to be our lake. So then I can put my, my crayon aside. I'm not going to use that anymore. All right. So with our islands, we're going to color our land green. Okay. Get my green watercolor. Move that around. Our crayon is going to kind of help keep the color in the center. Feeling like this green is a little bit of a blue green, so I'm going to switch greens, and that's okay for me to switch because it'll all blend together. There, that's a better green. moving in there. There we go. Yeah, that first one definitely would kind of blend together too much and we probably wouldn't be able to see which was which land or water. Right, so there's our land. And then we're gonna fill in our water around it, and make our island. Okay, I'm going to kind of just go slowly around the edge first, because even though the crayon's gonna keep it in there a little bit better, it still might drip over.
right, so once you get the part that's closest to the island, you can be a little more quick like this and spread your watercolor a little more easily. You can see my green kind of came out here a little bit, so I'm going to go back over that with the blue. All right, so there is my island. And then I'm going to move on, and then I am going to make a land and water form of my lake. Since my paintbrush already has blue paint on it, I'm going to start with my lake, which is in the center of this one. So again, we're going to kind of go around the edge. All right, so there is our lake. And now we're going to put our land around our lake. We live near a lake. Does anybody know what lake we live by? I bet everybody has probably gone down to the beach or down to one of the parks that are by our lake here on the east of us, which is Lake Michigan. If you don't, if you didn't remember the name, it's Lake Michigan. That's one of the great lakes. And that means it's super duper duper big. Our lake is giant. It is circled by land but that's why it's called a great lake because it's so big we can't see the land on the other side of it lakes can be super big like ours or they can be pretty small too all right so there is our lake. All right, friends. So remember, this is a lake because it's a body of water that's surrounded by land. And this is our island, which means it's land and it's surrounded by water. All right, friends. Now it's your turn. And I look forward to seeing your land and water forms.